Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about the new Tom Ford Photosynthesex eye quad. I hate saying that word because it's so bizarre. But if you are interested in seeing me do a demo, talk about this palette a little bit um, and see some swatches, then just keep on watching. Today is day five of the new Tom Ford eyeshadow quads, and we're talking about Photosynthesex, which is the one that has uh, a green kind of tone to it. This is, I think, visually the most interesting and different out of all the new releases that they've come out with. This is very, very different. It just evokes like so many different images for me. When I first saw it, I really focused on the brown and the green and I thought, wow, that's really like very fall, um, very like woodsy. And then when my eye kind of like went up to the yellow, I was like, this is a very kind of like safari kind of tone palette. I really like green shadows, but I really like ones that are uh, warmer in tone, ones that are like really olivey, ones that have more yellow in them. Again, ones that are like more warm. This is definitely a cooler tone, kind of like pine green. So I would eventually like to do another eye look for you guys incorporating the green a little bit more because for this particular eye look, uh, which I demo a little bit later on in the video, I only use this green as sort of a liner. I use the uh, kind of fun duochrome here and this brown uh, all over my lid and I really felt like that was kind of enough, especially because this shade is so glittery, it's so green all by itself and I didn't wanna kind of interfere with it. So I kind of just left the green as liner. So here's a close up of the quad. The gold and the brown shades are satin and then we've got that fun duochrome kind of glittery shade the upper right hand corner and then that green shade is a matte and now this is the first time I'm seeing a matte so far in these new quads so the first two the virgin orchid and the daydream had that wet dry formula and then the pretty baby and the African violet uh, those all had like a fun top coat and then like three satin shades so this is the first time I'm seeing a matte in these new quads and it is definitely a matte that's on the drier side. So it's it's very pigmented. It's one of those shades I feel like you need to kind of pat in place and then start to blend it out slowly. And you don't wanna use too much pigment all at once. You definitely wanna use like a little bit and layer it on to get to that level of opacity that you're looking for. But I would not go in very heavy handed with this green shade. As far as the other shades are concerned, these two satin shades, perform just as well and just as beautifully as all the other satin shades that we've talked about in all the other palettes. Very, very beautiful, very silky to the touch, very easy to blend, beautiful formula. And then this shade, I kind of assumed was gonna be like another top coat shade, but it really isn't. It has a lot more pigment going on than the typical top coat shade. It's a little bit more textured than those top coat shades. The top coat ones, when you go in with your finger, they're very, very smooth, where this one, you're gonna feel a little bit of like grit to the shadow. And then once you apply it to your lid, you're gonna really see like those glitters like come out. So when I first put the shadow down uh, with like a flat shader, I didn't get any fallout, which I was totally surprised at. And I actually only used eyeshadow primer on this eye and not this eye, just to kind of test it out. I always wanna see if there's gonna be any major difference, either in the way it looks or the way it performs. There really hasn't been any difference um, with any of the quads where I've done this, where I've just put base down on one eye, and that's this eye for this quad. And again, you'll see it in the demo, but I really don't see any major difference uh, in the appearance of the eyeshadows or in the performance. So like I was saying, I was um, placing it down with a, a flat shader, wasn't seeing any fallout, I was really surprised. Uh, but then I went in later on with a blending brush and kind of started to windshield wiper over the top edge of it. And that's when I started to see a little bit of fallout. So I did end up with a little bit of fallout from this shade here, but otherwise, really not as much fallout as you would expect from a fairly glittery, um, textured kind of shade. And the glitter is uh, kind of sitting in a base that's very satin. So this whole shade is just very va va -voom. It's very, very bright. It's very metallic. It's very beautiful. I really, really love this shade. And then this gold satin shade is like no joke. I have it in the inner corners of my eyes and I have it kind of blended into the inner uh, part of my lid. It is incredibly intense. It is a very, very yellow, yellow gold. Like what you see in the pan is what you get basically. This brown 
is a little bit lighter, I feel like, in pigmentation, which I am all for, being that it's a very, very deep, dark brown. I like being able to build up colors like this one that are on the darker side because... Sometimes you go in a little heavy-handed and it just takes forever to blend out if at all So I'm happy that this is not like super super pigmented. This is just a really beautiful satin rich brown Another winner from Tom Ford if these colors call to you. I think you won't be disappointed. This is a really fun Beautiful palette. It's really definitely out of my comfort zone And I just had a really great time coming up with this eye look I had a really great time kind of playing around with this quad when it first came in It's really such an interesting one So if you're interested in seeing how I achieved this eye look then the demo is coming right up All right guys, I'm gonna try something a little bit different with this quad. I'm actually gonna start with this uh duochromey shade up here. So I'm gonna apply some NARS eyeshadow base. Again, I just wanna see if this makes any difference. So I'm just putting it down on one eye, my right eye today. I think I've been going back and forth <laughs> in these videos. All right, so I'm gonna take a flat shader brush. I'm gonna take my Isom W23 brush. I'm gonna go into that exciting duochrome shade. This is a sable hair brush. It doesn't seem like it's picking up a lot of product, but I can't also can't really tell, but let's go ahead and give it a shot. I'm just going to start applying this. Oh no, that looks pretty good. <laughs> it picked up plenty, never mind. Oh my god, that's pretty. That is pretty. Now, this doesn't remind me of an exact Pat McGrath shadow, but this does remind me of Pat McGrath eyeshadows in general. It just has such an interesting kind of glittery effect to it. I'm going to leave that outer edge messy. I don't really care because I'm going to blend it out with one of those shadows, if not both. Okay, so next I'm going to use this brown satin shade. I'm going to use my Hakuhodo J5523 brush, and I'm going to use this to add to my outer corner here and blend into this fun glittery shade. I'm gonna bring that up a little bit higher. All right, I'm actually liking just those two colors on my lid. So I'm gonna use this um, hourglass blending brush that's completely clean and just blend out the top edge here. I was gonna go in with this matte green, but I think what I'll do instead is use that like on my lower lash line. And I didn't experience any fallout when I first applied that green glittery shade, but now that I've kind of gone over it with that hourglass brush, I see a few speckles here on the tops of my cheeks. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I'm gonna take my Tom Ford uh, number 14 brush and I'm gonna go into this matte green shade and I'm gonna line my lower lash line with it. I'm also gonna bring it up onto my upper lash line here. I'm liking the way that looks. I'm just gonna work that into the lash line. And then I'm going to add this gold color to the inner corner of my eyes. I'm gonna use my Esom W19 brush. Just place it right there. Ooh. I feel like maybe I wanna see a little bit more of that gold. So I'm gonna bring a little bit up in, onto my lid, like towards that inner corner there, and see how that blends with that glittery shade. Ooh, neat. It's actually kind of making a whole brand new color there. Just kind of like brightened up the whole eye look. All right, so that's it for this eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup look and I'll be right back. All right guys, so here's my final look. I will leave all the details of what I'm wearing down below in the description box as I always do. Uh, I really love this palette. It is uh, very, very different for me. This palette is just so, so interesting. It just, it evokes like so many images for me and I feel like this is really, really different for Tom Ford. So I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments section. Subscribe before you leave and I'll see you in my next video.